I'm Deborah Seif, and I am on an island. No, not some luxurious tropical island, but I am on a bioretention island. Now, these islands are usually situated in parking lots, which we all know cause gross amounts of stormwater runoff. The bioretention island is put in place in order to filter the water and also to keep it from running directly into nearby creeks and streams. We went to Gwynedd Mercy College and spoke with Charlie Miller from Roofscapes. He is the man to talk to because he actually designed the bioretention island which is behind us and he also supervised in the installation of it. So we're going to ask him a couple questions about bioretention. So first, why don't you tell me what is bioretention? Bioretention takes advantage of landscape areas and uses the vegetation and the soils in which they grow as a, um, a filtration medium to purify the water. So instead of shedding water off of landscape areas into impervious areas, we do the opposite. We take an area like this, which is a big island of impervious surface, and direct it into the landscape and let the landscape perform an environmental function. With bioretention islands, runoff from storms flows into the island and then is filtered by the different layers underground. This water is then directed to nearby creeks and streams. These islands, instead of being uh, heaped over, uh, having a convex surface like most islands, they're concave. And the purpose of that is, of course, to allow the water to enter them. And it also does provide some storage capacity. In the case of these islands, they hold about six inches of water. So tell me a little bit about um, the vegetation that I see here and what role that plays. Mm. Uh, this was just planted in the fall and uh, it's only going to start really coming into its own this year. But when this is finished, it will be about waist high and it will be in flowering plants most of the year. Um, and the purpose of that is not to make something pretty, but the plants perform a function. And one is to hold the whole system together with their roots and also prevent um, the system be from becoming clogged in the long term. I can see right here there's, there's runoff mm -hmm. from the parking lot. Right. So well, which, what you're actually seeing is, is the sediment that was carried in by the runoff. And uh, all this sediment is, is eroded right off the, the uh, parking surface. This would normally go right to the storm sewer inlet, which is right next to us here. Now it's being intercepted by this island and being trapped on the surface. Bioretention islands are universally designed with these curb cuts, these depressions in the curbs, to let the water in, as opposed to normal landscape design, which would have the curb be a barrier to water and keep the water running around the landscape. And that these little waffly grape, grate-like things? Right. This is uh, not essential, but it's an enhancement, and the purpose is to help guide the water into the uh, bioretention zone, and it also acts as to trap the eroded material on the particles that might otherwise wash past. Which, and guide which I them can in, see in them. Which is working just like it should. So the next time we get uh, um, a nice little downpour here, that'll all wash in and it'll add to the material you already see here. What are the other advantages? Obviously, there's an environmental advantage. Right. Um, what are, just, can you just explain some of the well, advantages? Well, the, pri the, the primary advantage of bioretention, in my opinion, is a technique to lessen the impact of impervious surface on streams in aquatic environments. That's what they do best. Another major benefit to these islands is their cost is comparable to a standard planting island used in most parking lots. The construction costs are similar and the maintenance is simple because the island is mostly self-sufficient. 